Good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. Today I'm going to show you the differences between Pandora's Wallet 1.0 and 1.1. They are can run side by side um, because there is big enough differences because of a, a large differences between the two of them. Um, we have different um, basically addresses and keys and stuff like that. So that's why they run side by side. So you're gonna to have to import your key, your private keys or your backup from the old version to the new version. And basically, uh, one, I'm, I'm not gonna show you that process completely. I'm just gonna show you uh, the differences, of, a few differences in the uh, Pandora's wallet for, for, for just to show how great of a difference this uh, new version is. Anyways, if you log into the old version, right, you'll see that it, it's taking forever to log in over and over. You're like you're waiting and waiting and waiting. But meanwhile, let's just log into the new version, right? And you'll notice that you have saved passwords, so I don't have to like type in my password. And uh, boom, it's all there instantly. Look at that. Uh, I'm still waiting to see the results of my uh, totals here. Well, what the hell? I can't see any of my totals. Is this thing broken? What's going on? I don't know. I can't believe this. Boom. Oh, there it is. So anyways, you can see that this is uh, there. You can see that um, 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 it took a, quite some time compared to this to load up all the balances. Now, um, as you can see here between the two of them, we've got some zero balances here. Right. Uh, the reason why is another thing that we um, we've done is um, it, and zero balances here, sorry. You've got zero balances here, and then we got balances here. So what's the difference? Why is why you have different balances? Because we have a new uh, key key system, system for creating your keys. And the reason why we did that is because this older version, um, the way the keys were generated, uh, you could uh, particularly, if somebody gained access to your PC, or got enough information from your PC, they can guess your private key. Um, because of that, we've come up with a new method for generating the private keys and uh, we created a new address. Your old address still works, just don't send anything to, the, um, to that old address anymore because that address could get compromised in the future by, by a hacker. So consider that if you, um, if you want to use the old addresses um, so anyways, with that being said, what happens is I sent all those those coins to myself, right? Uh, but on as you can see here, uh, it just said it was taken out of the wallet on the older version. And that's because um, it doesn't know about the old the new address space, the, the older version. So it only knows about this old address. This is where both addresses, both your old one and the new one. So it knows that you sent it to, your, to yourself. And the same with this one over here. So I'm going to just quickly send again to myself and you can see that happening in real time, right? With, with, uh, BitSend. BitSend is, uh, definitely SegWit and yeah, we're going to send that to, uh, to send the whole amount to ourselves, right? And you can see that working. Um, yeah, yeah. So there we go. We got the, the amount for the, um, transaction fees confirm. Right, we're gonna enter in our password. I think I got it. No, I didn't. I didn't have it copied in here, so I'm just gonna type it in. Right, and then we you see that it's gonna wait, sending the transaction, and once it's sent, it will be sent straight to our new wallet only, and the old wallet will have it minus away. So just waiting for that send process to go through, right? It's got to go and send it, make sure it processes it correctly and gives us a transaction ID. And there we go. And shortly after that, you're going to see it going to be get minus from this account and added to the other account. Right. Uh, let's wait a second, a few seconds. It should be any second now. Oh, there we go. We return to ourselves. So we got the transaction here. It was just from, from ourselves to ourselves, from the old address to the new address, right? And over here, it's okay. From that address to this address and, uh, 
doesn't realize it just went straight to you. And there you have it. So that's uh, the new version. We will be, uh, of course, making more and more improvements over the line, the time, maybe speeding up the trans, the processing time for transactions and so forth and everything. But yeah, this is we're moving in the right directions, right? And we're, we're adding more coins and so forth. And and soon you'll have um, all the coins and have more exchanges as well. Because that's the, that's the main goal of uh, Pandora's Wallet. So to have your access to your coins, be able to trade them and so forth. So uh, that's it for now. Um, uh, I will be doing more videos on this and maybe uh, another video on how to import your wallet from the old version to the new version. And then uh, other things like trading and so forth. So look out for that. Thanks for watching.